Welcome to Brookhaven High, a world of luxury and access where privilege knows no limit. This is a school like no other. Wealth writes the rules and opulence reigns supreme. Within these hollowed halls, extravagance becomes a way of life. But in this realm of affluence, there's a heavy price to pay. We've chosen to set aside empathy and our actions carry weighty consequences. While most of us are fortunate to be in the position we're in, there is a portion of the school where students are from an underprivileged walk of life. For them, those brave enough to cross our path, their daily existence becomes a nightmare of humiliation, isolation, and torment. I have to admit, I was part of the cruelty. Our relentless cold hearts push them to the brink. In their darkest hours, they believe there was only one escape, one way to end their suffering. It was a choice that left empty classrooms and desolate terraces as haunting testaments to their despair. My first day at Brookhaven High! Uh, I can't believe today's finally here! We're so proud of you, Isabel. You worked so hard for this opportunity. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Pa. I won't let you guys down. You never do, Issa. We'll always be here to support you. Remember, no matter what happens, you're always welcome here, our little girl. Hey, is that the new student? Huh, seems like it. Though she doesn't look like she's from a rich family. Just look at what she's wearing. Ah, so she's one of those scholars. Pretty lame, I'd say. <laughs> Tell me about it. She's probably gonna end up friendless. <laughs> Gosh, they're all looking at me so weirdly. Maybe they could tell that I'm not like them. You got this, Isa. Just focus on your studies. Ignore them. Looks like we've got a new addition to our charming school. Fresh prey. <laughs> she won't last long here. Just like the others. Let's see how she handles the pressure of our world. Well, well, well! What do we have here? A poor scholar is trying to fit in. Huh? How's your little adventure in our world going, Isabel? Don't you feel out of place with those rags you call clothes? I... I just want to go to class. Please, leave me alone. Not so fast, Missy. Why are you running away when we're in the middle of a conversation? That's rude of you. Well, I'm not surprised, though. Coming from an underprivileged family, I don't think you know a thing or two about being educated. You're the one to talk, Sophia. That's enough. Haven't you three caused enough trouble? What's it to you, Nick? We're just having some fun. Fun at someone else's expense? That's not the kind of fun I tolerate. Leave her alone. Don't mind them. They're all talk and no substance. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Nick. You are... Isabel. It's nice to meet you, Isabel. Welcome to Brookhaven High. Let me show you around the school. Thank you for showing me around, Nick. This place is... Overwhelming, to say the least. I get it. It can be tough. But just remember, not everyone here is like them. You'll find friends who care. 
Well, I hope so. Though if you need me, here's my number. You can give me a text, call, or even shout when needed. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. This could be fun. I continued my goal of humiliating her and bullying her. It took time, but she eventually reached her breaking point. I wish I hadn't taken it so far. <laughs> I can't take this anymore! I just can't bear this pain. The cruelty. The isolation. But I'm done. I don't want to be their victim anymore. Ugh, why do we have to be here? It's such a waste of time. I know, right? I feel like there's got to be another lecture about bullying or something. I can already see that happening, honestly. Well, well, at least we get to skip the first class. I guess. I mean, I'd rather stay here than deal with any mathematical lessons. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed students, teachers, and staff, we have gathered here today to address a grave matter that has affected our school deeply. It is with heavy hearts that we must share the devastating news of the passing of one of our students, Isabel. Oh, Isabel. It's so unfair. She was so kind. She didn't deserve this at all. Huh, how many is that now? You tell me. I've lost count. It's not a big deal, though. Happens all the time. Ah... Uh... Another one bites the dust. I knew she wouldn't last long. I don't know why everyone's making such a fuss. Yeah, seriously. It's just another scholarship kid. <sighs> well, that's that. Why am I feeling guilty with this? This is just another normal happening here in the school. Maybe... Maybe this isn't just another time. Maybe... I should have been kinder. Oh my gosh, this shopping spree was exactly what we needed. Agreed, retail therapy at its finest. I can't believe we all scored all these fabulous outfits. Our closets are going to look amazing. It's like we're unstoppable. Now let's go flaunt these new outfits at the chic cafe we always go to. Sounds like a plan. I could use a cappuccino and a croissant right about now. I'm in. Plus, we might run into some eligible bachelors there. <laughs> I'll catch you both later. You sure you don't want to join us at the concert, Soph? Yeah, I'm sure. I honestly need my quiet time and not really feeling like going to anywhere that's very loud. You girls have fun, though. If you say so. Take care, babes. Nick? What is he doing? Isabel's parents? What are they talking about, though? Isa was such a special person, always kind and genuine. She had a way of making friends, no matter their backgrounds, and she deserved so much better. You've heard so much about her friends from you, Nick but we didn't know much about what she went through at school. The struggles she faced. It's heartbreaking. Nick talked about what happened, what I did. I hurt their daughter so much. 
this pain. I never should have caused it. She faced her fair share of bullies at school, including her friends. It was hard for her, but she never lost her spirit. She kept fighting, never giving up. I am so sorry that I wasn't able to stop her and... Nick, dear, it's not your fault at all. Please don't blame yourself. You've been there for our daughter and it means the world to us to hear about her life, her friends, and the impact she had. Thank you for being there for her till the very end. I should get going now, but I'm here for you, Mr. and Mrs. Quinn. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Thank you, Nick. Your support means the world to us. Damn it, what have I done? I can't rest easy with this at all. I need to somehow make it up to them. But they now know that I was the one of the people who bullied her. I got to help them. Under a different name. Oh, hello. Can we help you? Good day, ma'am. Are you the parents of... Isabel Quinn? I see. Nice to meet the both of you. I'm so... Solina. I'm one of Isabel's friends. Oh, I see. Please come in. Thank you for having me. I wanted to express my condolences for your loss. I can't imagine the pain you're going through. Thank you, Selena. It's been incredibly hard for us. We miss her every day. Isabel was our world. Our little fighter. She deserved so much better. I know. She really did. I was hoping to be here to help you in any way I can. Just like she would have wanted. It's good to have someone who cares. The school didn't provide much help or support. Isabel had a rough time there. Isabel was one of the most wonderful people I've met. She was strong and kind, even when others weren't. But there were times when she was mistreated. And I... I have to admit, I wasn't always there for her, and I'm truly sorry that I wasn't able to be there when she needed it the most. That's so kind of you to care about her now, Selena. We're grateful for your support. Please don't apologize. You did nothing wrong. Yes, and we appreciate you sharing your memories of our daughter. I'm so glad I got to tell you about this. I know I haven't been the best friend she had, but I'm willing to make up for it, so please... Allow me to help you with your situation. I hope you will accept these things I've brought for you. Oh my goodness. Selena, this is so much. You really didn't have to get this many things, Selena. I insist. I really, really want to do this. For Isa. Selena, thank you. Thank you so much. You have helped us greatly. This means a lot. Of course. This is my way of giving back to her. Even if it may be too late. I want to help you as much as I can. So if you need anything, please reach out to me. Every moment I spend with Isabel's parents, I'm given a chance to make amends. To right the wrongs I've committed. They have no idea who I really am. And the guilt never leaves me. Good morning, Mrs. Quinn. I hope I didn't disturb you. Selena, hello. What brings you here? Yeah, I just wanted to drop by to give these. Hope this will be enough for the week. Oh my, these groceries again. You're such a sweetheart. You've been so incredibly generous. Your unwavering support means the world to us. We can't express how thankful we are for your continuous help. It's truly my pleasure, Mrs. Quinn. I know the challenges you're facing, and I'm committed to make things a little easier for you. Oh, <laughs> your kindness knows no bounds. Thank you, dear. Oh, do you have time for breakfast with us today? It's just a simple fry-up, but we love your company. Huh? Oh, I wouldn't want to impose. Nonsense, dear. Please join us. It's the least we can do to express our gratitude for your kindness. Well, if you insist, Mrs. Quinn, Thank you for your warm invitation. 
You're always welcome. Let's head in. Ah, Selena. Good to see you again. Hello, Mr. Quinn. Lovely to see you again, too. Love, look what Selena brought us. More groceries. So I invited her to share breakfast with us before she goes to school. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Thank you, Selena. Your assistance has been a tremendous help to our family. It's no trouble at all, sir. I'm just glad to be of help. Well, let's not waste any time. Please, Selena, help yourself to breakfast. on her face. That's what she gets for talking back to us like that. <laughs> That'll teach her a lesson. What do you think, Self? <laughs> yeah, she was so scared, as she should be. Ah, uh, well, let's get out of here, girls. This place bores me. Yep, we're done here. Let's go. I can't keep letting this happen. Down. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. It's okay. Thank you so much for the help. Sophia, where are you, girl? Don't say a word, got it? I'm trying to put a stop to this. <phone rings> Mr. and Mrs. Quinn, how have you been? I just wanted to check in and see if there's anything you need. Aw, Selena, that's very kind of you to call. We're doing as well as we can be. It's still a challenge, but your support has meant so much to us. Yes, dear. Thank you for checking on us. You've been a great comfort to our family during this time. I'm glad I can help in any way. Please, don't hesitate to ask if you need anything. I'm here for you. Sophia, where are you? Uh... I gotta go, Mr. and Mrs. Quinn. I'll catch you soon. Oh, all right, Selena. Take care. Oh, there you are. Uh, you look a bit frazzled, though. Oh, just got interrupted on the phone. What's up? We've got an amazing plan for our next move, and it's going to be epic. I'm all ears, Emma. Oh, we're not talking about it here. Let's go to our usual spot. Olivia's already waiting there. Sophia's been acting strange lately, like she's trying to be a different person. I wonder what's going on with her. All right, listen up, ladies. We've got an awesome plan for our next target, and it's going to be so much fun. This should be fun. I can't let this happen again. I have to do something. All right, here's the plan. Listen to me. They're planning something, but you need to stay calm. You have two choices. You can play along or you can run away from here. Just don't react to their taunts. I couldn't allow more harm to come to innocent students. So, I secretly aided the targeted ones, ensuring they were informed about their motives. When we executed our plan, it was clear that Emma and Olivia are frustrated. Oh, what the heck is going on? Why are our targets suddenly standing up for themselves and not afraid anymore? I can't believe it. These targets are slipping away. We're supposed to be in control. How are we losing our edge? I don't know. You tell me. Seriously? What's up with you? You hadn't been as interested in our plans lately. Yeah, Sophia. Are you really on board with us? I of course I am. Well then, give us an idea. What should we do? Maybe we should try to make things different. Different? Like what? Actually be nice to them? Like that's ever gonna happen. 
Mm -hmm. Where's the fun in that? Why are you being such a softy? This isn't like you. No, girls, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm just thinking we should give our plans more thought. Yeah, you know, be sort of strategic. Strategic? We've never had to be strategic before. We've always ruled this place. I know, but it's time we evolve and keep them guessing. Trust me, this will make our pranks even better. Hmm. You might be right, girl. We should think about our plans even more. I'm doing everything I can to maintain my facade and prevent more harm. I no longer wanted to be the mean, popular girl in school. Selena, we can't thank you enough for being with us through these difficult months. Your support means the world to us. I'm just glad I can be here for you, Mr. and Mrs. Quinn. Isabel was my friend, and I know she cared deeply for you. You are a real blessing, Selena. Our family's been through a lot, and your presence has been a source of comfort. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Excuse me, I'll get the door. Hey, uh, Mr. Quinn! Nick, my boy, what a surprise! It's been a while, come on in. Oh, Nick, you're here as well. How wonderful. You're just in time for lunch. Oh, by the way, this is Celine. You? What the hell are you doing here? Nick? Nick, calm down. What's wrong? Why are you mad at Selena? Uh, Selena? You even gave yourself a new name to show up here? God, you have no shame at all, do you? Nick, please listen to me. Nick, calm down. What on earth are you talking about? She's Sophia, one of the meanest brats in the school. She and her friends made Isabel's life a living hell. She's the reason why she's gone. It's all her fault. Is... is this true? He's right. It was me, Mr. and Mrs. Quinn. Me and my friends bullied Isabel. And I can't carry that guilt anymore. I didn't want to tell you about my real identity because I know you will never forgive me for what I had done to her. I couldn't handle this guilt. That's why I've been helping you out under a different name. That's why I've been trying my best to warn all of our targets about my friend's devious plans on harming and bullying them. That's why I'm here. I am truly sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I wanted to make amends for what I did. But I understand if you can't forgive me. I have to leave. I'm sorry. Don't get it, Sophia. You used to like doing this. Why are you not on board anymore? What happened to the queen bee we know? <laughs> oh, don't act so innocent now. We know what you've been doing. We know that you've been screwing up our plans, you snit. Because I want to be a better person. I can't do this anymore. I can't keep hurting people, watching them suffer and ruining their lives. We've already caused too much pain for a lot of students in the school that most of them took their lives and died. It's gone way too far and I'm done with it. You're not the Sophia that we used to know anymore. You've changed, but that's fine. If you want to be a part of the losers, suit yourself. Ugh, you know what? Whatever. Come on, Olivia. Let's go before the smell of trash gets on us. Not so fast, ladies. I'll tell you what's happening. Officer, these three have been causing so much pain and suffering to innocent students. It's time for them to face the consequences of their actions. You three are under arrest for your involvement in a series of bullying incidents that have led to the suffering of multiple students. What? what, what? No, we didn't do anything wrong! You have no proof! Yeah, you can't just arrest us like this! No, officer. It's true. We were behind those bullying incidents. And it was wrong. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. No! 
Oh, shut up, Sophia! You don't know what you're talking about! We're not involved in this! It was all your idea, you brat! Please do what you have to do, sir. Get your filthy hands off me! Wait, officer! Down to us, Sophia! She's not the same person she used to be! We've seen her efforts to be better! Yes, officer! She's been trying to make amends and be better. She deserves a second chance! I was one of the students they bullied! Sophia's been helping us, trying to make things right! She deserves another chance! She's been working to protect us from their cruelty! She's different now! Guys... Wait! Officer! Mr. and Mrs. Quinn? Sir, you don't understand the whole story. We're the parents of one of their victims. We know what Sophia did in the past was wrong, but she's genuinely trying to change. We've seen it. She's been supporting us through these difficult times. Yes, please, officer. Sophia's helped us heal after the loss of our daughter. She's been a different person. Please, Nick, tell him to let her go. Let her go, officer. Very well. But let this be a warning to all of you. Bullying has severe consequences, and it won't be tolerated. You have a second chance, Sophia. Make it count. Thank you. I'll make the second chance count. I promise. <laughs>